Hi, welcome to the channel. I just did a quick video to show the day we planted out some brassicas and to give you a quick tour of the plot, which I haven't done for a while. I started off by using, they're actually old tent poles and bits of bamboo cane, whatever I could get my hands on. Put them in the ground before you put your blue pipe over it. It holds the pipe in the ground much better than just putting the pipe straight into soil. So if you do get a Highland Gale, they're not going to shift. I'll show you in a wee second, just try to just get the space in right here. When you're using the hammer, give it a good wiggle round like that, and then the pipe will just have a, a perfect size hole just to slide down that bamboo cane or tent pole straight into the ground. Then all you have to do is put the soil round the bottom, which I will show you in a minute. I film myself doing the one line of this just to show you, although I will have to do the whole bay, obviously. Here's a pipe going over the top and do a wee wiggle, put the soil back round the edges. That's not going to move. That will not shift. One done. A few more to go. I wish it was this quick in real life. It does take a few minutes, but you know, it's not drastic, but yeah, it's certainly not as quick as this is. I'll leave you to it to enjoy the rest of the video. Right, the hoops are up. Next thing we're going to do is put some of the brassicas in and if you can see, I've laid them out roughly where they're going to go. We've got three Brussels sprouts, there are some more in the polytunnel and in inverted commas, we'll see if they survive. These are all kohlrabi, I've never grown it before, I don't actually know if you're meant to transplant it but I'm going to try anyway, so here we go. This is the one actually that we had compost all over last year. No, it was wood chip, wasn't it? We put wood chip in and it was a disaster. But it seems to have broken down nicely this year, so I think. And I've used these little bits of wood for labels because I ran out of labels. So I split up a twig. There's your label. Mm. This one looks a bit pathetic, I'm going to try it anyway. I'm not sure how much space they might get. I'm going to continue with this. I'll see you in a minute. Just planted a squash and if you're like us, you get a lot of slugs and snails. Easy cloche. So we'll give it a go and see if it'll actually protect our plant. You just need to cut the bottom off. <laughs> I'm at one with nature, get away from me. Okay, there we go. Apparently actually if you put a like sugary water in there, the bees can get that. Anyway, so here's my cosh. I'm just gonna pop it over here. Keep that nice and protected. And see. Big and strong, we man, so we can eat you. The rhubarb's doing pretty well. Um, some of it looks a bit weak. We do have a bit in here which has kind of just turned into a weed dumping ground, so I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Clear it out. But as you can see, the fruit bushes we have a red currant bush here, and the strawberries are really starting to take off. This blueberry bush isn't doing so well. I'm wondering if I'm going to have to replace it next year. Maybe it's just come to the end of its 
fruiting leaf, I'm not sure. Anyway, that's the little patch of garlic. The one little patch that has done well. You'll see the other one where pretty much nothing showed up. Over here we do have the hair area. Lots of lovely lemon balm, which is just amazing. Black currant bush, um, chives, there's thyme and oregano in the corner there. And lavender, of course, there's lavender everywhere. And even that pulse are starting. Isn't that lovely? This is where the garlic was meant to be. This was all garlic. As you can see, the most pathetic garlic in the world has started sprouting here. And just here today, that's where I put in the celery. Well, I might as well use the space for something. And we have some early potatoes, extra ones that we had, so put them in there. Chamomile's coming on lovely over here. I'm picking that and drying it for my feet. Potatoes, we have earlies, which is, which is, what are our earlies this year? Casablanca, I think. Mm -hmm. Possibly Casablanca, could be lying, not sure. And, uh, is it Desiree? Desiree? Never sure how to say it. That's the main crop. They go fantastic for us. Now we come to the disaster zone. Carrot experiment. Did not work. Onions severely needed. Actually, onions and shallots severely needed. We did parsnips at the far end, which again we'll need weeded out, but the germination looks pretty good. And I put beetroot in here, which is doing great again. More weeding done, which is a little soul destroying since I did so much the last time we were here. And this is today's effort. We have our Brussels sprouts in here, kohlrabi, celeriac, a selection of cabbages at the far end, a um, little bit of kale in here. So there is more to come. Um, and in here is all year round cauliflower. Planted them nice and deep. Make sure that they are well supported with all your brassicas, they do get top heavy. You need to make sure they've got a lot of support from the wind. So we're just going to cover these um, so the birds don't eat them, because pigeons are a problem here. And that will be that patch taken care of. And I just need just quickly to show you this. This is the, the peas and beans and a few voluntary potatoes that we don't really need. Not finished, still growing. This will be snow peas here. Large, lovely large pods. And um, main crop peas up the south. And some broad beans with another chamomile plant. And I see our dwarf beans have been attacked. Darn it. One of them has any. That one's okay. That one's clinging on for dear life and that one is pathetic. So something else will be going in here. That's okay though, we need the space. I've got a lot more to come. And that is the tour of our allotment so far. Um, still a lot of work to do, but I think I'm good.